we just saw your videos and you were saying you know, you really been able early on here at Summer League to get your athleticism into the game, which can be a challenge. What? Why do you think that you've been able to do that at a high level so far? Uh, just film study. I don't think film study is the biggest thing, and just learn how to pick and choose my spots. And that's something I've been really focusing on this last week. Uh, I haven't got to practice with the team. Yesterday was my first time on the court with the team, so just been trying to build as much chemistry as possible. Has that been kind of a whirlwind the last few days then? And how have you dealt with that like from a personal standpoint? Uh, it's definitely been a whirlwind. I mean, not knowing if you're going to play or not, but finally getting to get out there and put on this jersey, man, it's a blessing. It's a blessing not many people get to have, and I'm just honored and blessed and happy that Oklahoma gave me the opportunity. I mean, most guys, they get drafted, they know where they're going. You knew where you were going to go, but it was a long time until you could kind of make it official and be a part of the team. What was that weight like for you? I mean, it sucks. You go out there, you watch your team practice, and you don't get to go out there and help them or practice. I mean, it's not, it isn't fun. Everybody wants to compete, but you just got to, everybody has a different path. So you just got to stick to your path and just always be ready. That's one thing I learned ever since I've been here. Always be ready, and when your name is called, just go out there and try to perform. We saw you knock down a couple threes today, long two. How are you feeling just in terms of your general offensive progression with your jump shot and everything? Uh, I'm just still trying to get comfortable. Still trying to get comfortable, and still a lot of reps and a lot of work to be done. But I mean, the work has been get, get, the work has been being put in, and now it's just all about implementing it in the game. So just got to keep going out there and just keep trying to play, keep trying to bring energy to the game and get after it on both sides of the court. Do you have a specific routine with your shooting, a certain number of shots from this place or another place or anything like that? Uh, no, nah, not right now. I mean, right now we're just going through it. We're going really hard. We're getting up game reps, and that's the biggest thing for me, just trying to get up game reps and practice and game reps when I'm working out and just try to always stick with my technique. Something Billy talks about a lot is just kind of sticking your nose in there yeah. on defense, okay. rebounding. Your thoughts on kind of that aspect of your game? We saw you jump in there on loose balls and defensive boards. I'm trying to get better at it. I'm still trying to get better at it. It's, it's ways for me to go. But like I said, I mean, I'm a guy that I like to get after on both sides of the court, and I like to bring a different level of energy to the game. So whatever coach needs me to do, whatever the assignment is, I'm willing to go out there and stick my nose in it. I mean, you had the option of not going to school. You could have gone that this semester yep. and then left. What did you learn that year at Kentucky? I learned a lot. Uh, the biggest thing I'll say I learned is just how to conquer myself. And that's something that Cal preached since day one. I mean, and conquering yourself just means, I mean, when things aren't going good, when you had a bad game, when you had a bad practice, how are you going to bounce back and help your team win? So that's just things that I learned at Kentucky. That's just one of the biggest things I learned. But my time there was great. And if I had to do it all over again, I would have did the same thing. You know, guys always talk about uh, adjusting to the speed of the game yeah. in the first few games. How has that adjustment been for you? Uh, it's definitely been hard. I mean, it's been hard a little bit, but I mean, I love playing fast. I mean, all the guys that see me play, I mean, so now that we're going up and down, I feel like this game is for me. I mean, it's not much. It's, everybody's at a different pace. Everybody's going fast. Everybody's moving. And it's a lot of transition opportunities, and that's where I excel at. And that's what I got to create for my team, too, on the defensive. Have you started maybe thinking about the, you know, the idea of playing with Russ and, and playing that fast tempo offense that we've seen him play so well? I mean, I didn't even think about it yet, man. It's still a little bit of culture shock, I mean, but I'm playing around great players and we'll have great vets, and I can't just wait to get out there and really get to meet the guys and really get to practice and really get to learn the things that they did their rookie season that put them over the hump. So I'm just happy for the opportunity, and I'm blessed to have vets like that on my team. Going 45th in the draft, has that been a chip on your shoulder and cruising people wrong this year? I mean, yeah, definitely. I mean, I went 45th in the draft. Uh, I feel like the draft is over now. So it's all about get, going out there and just you could be the one or the 60th pick. It doesn't matter. You've seen it happen multiple times where the one pick doesn't pan out and the 60th pick does. So you just got to go out there and just work hard and just always know that it's not about your pick. It's all about fit and it's all about how bad do you want it. What kind of, what kind of pressure can you guys put on a defense when you're running one sideline and Terrence Ferguson's run the other and the ball's in the middle of the floor? Oh, I mean, we're two crazy athletes. <laughs> I don't know who's more athletic. I mean, we got to test that out one day, but I feel like, man, you've seen the transition play. I mean, either one of us was going to block it, and he got it first, and then I got the loose ball. I mean, that's just the things that we could do, and we're two athletes, and it's going to be great playing alongside Terrence as well. Thank you so much. Thanks, Thanks.